You people. What do you mean, you people? I am so freaking excited. I could scream. <laughs> Pringles. I heard that these were coming out a while back, but then I just kind of forgot about them. I just kind of forgot about them. And then I spotted them at Walmart and I knew exactly what I was filming tonight as soon as I saw them. Sometimes I'm just like, I didn't even have anything to film. And then suddenly I had something to film. I'm stupid and I need sleep. Pringles has brought out their Hot Ones flavor. Based on the Los Calientes sauce that they try on the show, if you've never seen Hot Ones, it is at least one of the greatest, arguably the greatest show on YouTube, uh, where they have different celebrities trying the different, the gauntlet of sauces. They start from the classic, which is really, really good sauce, by the way. All the way to the last dab, and the last dab is over 2 million Scoville. I tried it on Twitch one time and about died. It's really hot. Today's comment shout out is my boy Anthony saying that he needed some Trav. I appreciate it, man. Anthony always kind of binges a few of my videos and then like, I don't know, he comes back. I could tell that he's like been watching every single one from like a point, I guess, around the time when we became friends and then on literally in a row. And he's incredible. And he also has a YouTube channel. Check out his movie reviews. I'll leave that in the description. Anthony is awesome. And happy belated birthday to him as well. I didn't forget. So anyway, I don't know if I've ever had any of the scorching flavors, but guys, this the freaking Pringles tube looks incredible. Hot Ones is one of my favorite shows, and Los Calientes, I like it. It's not my favorite. I actually like the classic over it. It has nothing to do with heat, because I know Los Calientes is like somewhere in the middle whenever the celebrities try the sauces on the show. Sean Evans, I hope you're watching. You won't be, but I hope. I can just only hope. Hot Ones is growing. They have however many subscribers from the first We Feast YouTube channel for them to come out with their own Pringles. It makes me wonder, are they gonna do other flavors of the other sauces? Cause this was Los Calientes. I would be very interested in like the classic or the last dab. I guess I guess they did Los Calientes because it's kind of a middle of the road heat. I'll have editor day put how many, what Scoville Los Calientes is, the actual sauce itself. I don't think that that's gonna be how hot these chips are. But anyway, I'm gonna give you guys a look at these. So as exciting as these sound, maybe the taste can live up to the hype. I almost dropped it. Here we go. Oh wow. That is instantly hot. I knew that it was of the scorching Pringles flavors. Man, I don't think I expected that to be that hot. My tongue is already red. The catch to certain spicy chips. My lips so red. After the spice dies down, after you eat more, that's not the case with these. I've only had the one, but sometimes it's hard to talk. That definitely might be one of the spiciest Pringles I've ever had. Of course, I don't really eat spicy Pringles. Let me know in the comments if any of the scorching flavors, which ones are your favorite? Whew. It's cooking in here. Well, what I was trying to say with that is sometimes the spicy chips, the more you eat them, the more your taste buds get really used to it. I have tried Los Calientes, not on the channel, but I would say that that is on the level of the heat that is from that sauce. I could understand why they didn't do the classic, I guess now, if they really were trying to pick up the heat. Incredible idea though. Incredible idea for them to team up with Hot Ones and do this. I'm gonna take it a little slower and have a second chip though. That spice, it, it, it stayed. I have long already ate the chip and it really stayed. Really spicy sauce, it really sits. But it has that little bit of sweetness. Oscar Antes almost has like a had smokiness that I like. I've only had Los Calientes like once because I didn't think it was like my favorite out of the Hot Ones stuff that I have tried. This isn't like ringing a bell. Like it doesn't bring me back to exactly the flavor, but I believe it. I believe that this is pretty much the flavor. The best you can do putting a Hot One sauce on a Pringles flavor. I use spicy heads, especially my friend Thomas. He's probably gonna love these because he loves spicy stuff, little spicy chips. This is pretty freaking hot. So much so that I'm curious if the inside of my, if the roof of my mouth was bleeding because it hurts. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I underestimated it. Maybe it's because I'm not used to this heat. Maybe I sort of thought that this would be kind of a, what is the wording for that? Just a weaker version, but I underestimated it. It really does bring the heat. Like I said, don't think I've had any of the scorching. Now I have. <laughs> That's, that's, 
definitely the truth. I'm gonna keep going even though I'm just torturing myself. On a heat scale of one to 10, on my heat tolerance, this is a 10. If I kept going, I definitely be sweating. The side of my lips, this, this is a little taste of what being on the Hot One show would be. It, it is kind of a bucket list thing of mine. I don't think I will ever have the chance to be on the show. Cause as far as I know, they don't really bring YouTubers on. Like they've had David Delbrick and a couple others, but it would be cool, but it's a little taste of how I just wouldn't survive the show. But the thing about Hot Ones though is they have a little bit on the chicken that they're trying, which I also really respect that they let the guests that they had on choose what chicken they want. So I would probably want chicken tenders from like the best chicken around where they're at, at their studio. Hurts to talk, it really does. If I ate more of these, I would be to the point of lightheaded and I'm getting there. So it is a 10 on heat, it really is. But as for an overall rating, I probably wouldn't return to these that often because they're just, they're just that hot. Me personally, I like flavor with my heat. I like the sweetness of a sauce. That's why I really love the classic Hot Ones hot sauce because it's really sweet and it's on the level of like Sriracha and it's barely even hot. It is, does have heat. I like when a sauce has sweetness and some flavor, whatever version of that is, rather smokiness, sweetness and for the spice to be there but not overtaking it and i would say that the the spice my nose is starting to run definitely really takes over the flavor the flavor is there for like a second and then it just takes over i would actually argue that the chips are spicier than the sauce because i had quite a bit of the sauce on some chicken or whatever it was i don't remember it being this spicy again the scoville of los calientes from hot ones first we feast it is their sauce this isn't to say that I don't like this, because this experience is really cool. Didn't actually expect it to be on the sauce level of heat. I guess it's on there for a reason. It's Los Calientes because it's supposed to be like the heat of Los Calientes. Now you spice heads out there, I want you to let me know what you think of this. Nose is definitely starting to run, and I apologize. But on a rating for, like, if I would go back for this, this is hard because I'm really impressed by the heat. On flavor, I don't even know what I could give this. Almost wrong piped a piece of chip. It's like an 82. Like a solid B. The spice is really impressive and that's kind of why it's going up a little bit because I'm really impressed by this and the flavor that it does give. Um, but sort of an early B. Does it mean that I would return to these? I probably would never. I actually did get a tube to keep uh, just because this is a limited time thing. Never know if they're gonna come back or not. And I usually don't keep like chips and stuff, but that is like a collector item to remember these. And I don't know, man. I know my wife is not gonna be about these because they're ridiculously hot, at least for me. But I want, like I said, from you people that eat spicy stuff. What do you mean, you people? and that really have a better heat tolerance. What do you think of these? And are you a Pringles fan? What do you think about the lineup? If you have never actually watched the Hot Ones, please let me be a window into greatness for you. I want you to, as a matter of fact, I'll leave the chat. They have like 2 million subscribers. You, they don't need my promotion to get anywhere, but if you haven't watched the show, I want you to please check it out. There might be a celebrity on there that you really like. The Paul Rudd episode's amazing. The Tom Holland episode. Meg The Stallion was on there. I remember her being on there whenever she came out with the Popeyes promotion. All kinds of people. They're growing. They're an amazing channel. I also had like a thing called Snack with different celebrities' favorite snacks like Steve-O and Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go cool off my everything. It is starting to die down, but it took some time, and the more I talk, the more I exhale, the worse the tongue spice is. So anyway, I love you guys. Please continue to support the channel. I love y'all for it. Y'all are amazing, and uh, stay, uh, stay fire like these uh, Pringles homes. Was, that was horrible. I'm just gonna go. If you haven't checked out that video over there, that is content here on my channel that I hope you enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and all the beautiful stuff, guys, and you beautiful people see me next week.